Hello and welcome back everybody to a brand new FTB Infinity Evolved on hard mode. It is time, a little bit of time that we do a little bit of magic. And the reason I want to do magic is there's amazing, amazing items that come from Batania, Thomcraft, Witchery, etc. And we need to get those items hands down because you can't finish everything in this game without them um i've been grinding out a whole bunch of living rock and living wood and stuff like that just in the meantime i also did some extra mining oh baby did i ever uh i did a nice little tunnel let me show you the loot that i got 17 regular diamonds one dense diamond ore and as i explained before we now have redstone ore which when pulverized uh they're no, nope, right there. You have a 25% chance to get Cinnabar. And that is a great, great item. So I'm going to throw this in the pulverizer. There's a few upgrades that you can make uh, with a hardened machine as well that can actually improve that percentage chance by quite a bit. So highly recommend using that. Oh, baby. What luck. Two runs and already a Cinnabar. I'm just going to quit while I'm ahead right there. Um, our power situation should be non-existent. Um, I've installed a whole bunch of, well, backups, basically. So here, of course, these all store 100,000 RF in their own internal storage. Is that an Enderman? That is an Enderman. No, don't teleport away. All right. So those each have 100,000. And then equally on each water mill here, I've installed MV capacitors, which hold a million. So we kind of have 2 million backed up there. We have another million up there. So that's 3 million backed up before it even hits our power cells down below. And then another 600,000. So that's 3.6 million power before it even hits our $4 million. $4 million. Oh, I wish. Uh, $4 million rf power system so <coughs> pretty darn good i'm quite happy with it we got a lot of passive generation and basically free power at this point in time um but as you can see i have one item up here and i wanted to state something what is this episode 15 i think let me just double check that yeah episode 15 already holy cow we are flying and i'm having fun i hope you guys are too one of the things that I always want to state here, and especially when it comes to the magic mods, whatever the book says, don't trust it. Do not listen to the book. Listen to NEI. Because a lot of the recipes have changed. Like this, you need a quartz sphere from witchery, which is quartz and mana glass. So there's certain things that have changed in the mod pack, and I just want to make sure that you guys don't goof up on that uh one of the other big ones that's a good example of that is the runic matrix yeah so we have to get into every type of mod before we can even get the runic matrix so again don't trust the book <coughs> trust any eye okay that's my one warning for you guys and from there we will craft our ring of magnetization Rig of mag. There we go. Beautiful. So, let's start right from the basics. We need this quartz sphere. So, that's four blocks of quartz, four nether quartz, and a mana glass. Do I have glass? I do. Beautiful. Okay. And then we're going to need 20? Is it 20 nether quartz? I think so. I think my math, it, my quick math, it is quite late. I'm behind tonight. But... I think this is correct. It appears to be so. Actually, let's take it upstairs because we need to get that mana glass anyways. Let's get some of the other resources, though, from our storage facility. So our mana lens is going to be mana steel and mana steel nuggets. Okay. Okay. Good. Good to know. All right. And then we're going to need more mana steel. So that's eight, nine mana steel that I'm seeing. We're going to need two blocks of iron, four redstone. One, two, three, four, two gold, and two blocks of iron. So that's 18 iron. Just for this simple little ring? Are you kidding me? All right, let's make those anyways. Boom. And, of course, we need our nine steel. Steel is a little bit more efficient on your mana use 
than iron is. Uh, so later game, iron's probably just fine once you have almost unlimited mana. But for early on, you're probably better off grinding out the steel, especially if you have an induction smelter up and running. Anyways, here we are. Let's get cracking. Um, I kind of want to just use this guy. Nine. Beautiful. Look at the mana. I love it. All right, let's get our mana steel ingots, and let's make ourselves the quartz sphere. Oh, we got to drop the glass in. Almost forgot. Boom. Mana glass. Very nice. I, I got to play around with that a little bit. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, a little bit of leg spark there. I was a little concerned that we were going to have a little crash. But overall, the pack's been quite stable, I've found. Um... So, there we go, and this is our magnetizing mana lens. That goes up in the corner with our mana steel ring of magnetization. That's going to go so nicely with our ring of prote protection. Now, what that does is we are basically a magnet. Uh, we just used up all the coal, which is good because I was probably about to steal some of it. But basically, the way it works is there's an item on the ground... <coughs> So when I'm mining or whatever, and zoom, it just zooms on up in to my inventory. Where did it go? Um, game? Where, where did my living wood go? Hello? Hello? Well, it's supposed to zoom up into my inventory. I'm not sure what happened there. Um, hmm. That one did. Was that like a bugged block or something? Did we even take one out? Maybe that was the problem. Anyways, that's what it's supposed to do. You drop it or any item that's farmed, etc. is just going to zoom into your inventory. It's a very lovely, lovely ring. And it's one of, if not, one of my favorite items out of any mod that's here. Because it's quite easy to make. And it gives you that magnet ability. Very nice. Um, now, some of the things we can't make. I love the Souljourners. Souljourners. What is it again? Souljourners. I'll look it up in the book. I love also the Souljourner Sash. Right here. This guy is amazing. It gives you the upstep and all that kind of stuff. But it requires Boots the Traveler from... Thomcraft, as well as impregnated leather, which is from witchery. So that's going to take us a while. That is my other, one of my other favorite, favorite items from Batania. Now, there's a few other things that we want to get going for Batania, I think. And let me just find them here in the book, and we'll go from there. Horn of the Wild is amazing, by the way. Highly, highly recommend that. I'll probably craft one of those up. It's pretty easy. A pasture seed is, once again, just some grass. So we have shears. Let's do that while we're here. I think I've even crafted the pasture seeds a few times on stream here. Great little block because it, you can basically expand um, grass wherever you want to. Uh, what was it again? Horn of the Wild? Horn of the Wild. Five. Well, I only grabbed four. There we go. Boom. And boom. Okay, good. So that gives us the Horn of the Wild. Now what this guy does is this will break any tall grass and flowers nearby. So let's head on down here, for example. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of Batania flowers here. All these brown flowers. I blow on the horn. Oh, God, that was a little loud. I hope that wasn't loud in the video. But as you can see... We just got everything. So now, actually going around harvesting the grass for seeds and everything is awesome. And the range on this thing is pretty darn good. Look at that thing. It is just mowing stuff down. I absolutely love, love this horn. It's very nice. Uh, but now we have a whole bunch of junk on us. <laughs> it's fine. We'll store it. I guess. Uh, maybe? Mushrooms? Yes? Not the mysticals. Radish? Okay. Strossel berries? We don't have strossel berries yet? Really? Okay. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'll clear out my inventory here with all of this stuff that we have. And I'll be back with you. 
So I've been fiddling around a little bit with some of this stuff and this system does actually work where you basically have transfer pipes loading up the slimes. Um, this one's about to change for example. And then if we have the item node above it, so let's just do that. Boom, take you, good, and you, like that. And then all I do is I filter it, right? So that we are only pulling out the gelatinous slime. So as you can see, once it finds its inventory, bingo, it's gone. It's not pulling out the gelatinous slime ball. So that is definitely a way that we can do it. I think we can do it with item ducks as well. Um, but you do need to have the two connections to the drying rack. Whereas with Ender IO, item conduits, you only need one connection to it. So <coughs> these things are expensive though very very expensive uh, yeah well actually they're not that bad the conduit binder I think is the hard part right electrical steel dang yeah so once we get an alloy smelter I think we could probably look at doing that and then that should also up our power production quite a bit um, I've kind of decided that outside of generating more power for our um, Batania setup, we're kind of at a standstill in regards to Batania. There's a few things, <coughs> well actually there's a lot of things that we can definitely do, but I think that we need to progress on into Thomcraft and Witchery and all those kinds of things. Now, witchery is going to take a long time. I have a cool build idea that I want to do for witchery, so, but that's going to take a decent amount of time. Let's get the jetpack a little bit charged here. Um, but yeah, that's going to take quite some time. So I'm probably going to do most of that. I might even do like a live stream of it. Oh, 400 RF per tick. Why? Don't tease me like that. That's beautiful. I love it. All right. Uh, so I've kind of been slowly getting more stuff as we go here and just running it on over. I need to come up with a plan though. The biggest problem that I have is I need to do a whole bunch of research with Thomcraft. So I'm going to double check the time on this video, see what I can get done uh, with the time that I have. Because it's already almost midnight here and I'm trying to get good night's sleep so that I can be energetic for you guys. So, but anyways, let me be right back. All right, so I've decided to bring you back in the research process. We're at infusion, so if you take a look, we're kind of getting there, getting a decent amount of research done. We've already progressed quite far. Uh, up here, I've already got all the master nodes and whatnot. I do need to get node preserver still, uh, but I'll get that one off camera. Again, most of this stuff I want to do off camera anyways, so keep that in mind. I'm not trying to, you know, do something crazy or something. So uh, like this, we'll go that into Ordo because machine requires modus. Modus goes to Ordo. So, and then boom, and boom, that connects those, and then we'll go over to the Fabrico, which is Humanus and Instrumentum, which is Ordo again. Ordo OP. Am I right, or am I right? Boom, and boom, and then last but not least, the that. Beautiful. Infusion. Amazing. And then Wand Foci, here's a much, much easier one. Just like so. We can use up a little bit of the fire while we're here. And probably just like so. Very good. So, for the most part, we're doing pretty good overall. We can get our focus pouch. <coughs> Must have, in my opinion. We could actually get a wand for our ranged attack as well. But equally, now we can get the Silverwood and Thaumium wand caps. But I think, and of course, the infusion stuff, which includes the boots of the Traveler. Now, we're still a ways away from being able to get the boots of the Traveler. Just because the actual infusion crafting, well, we haven't even done any witchery yet, right? So, keep that in mind. So anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop researching for a little bit. We have our iron wand, which... Really? Not that great. 
it's really not that fantastic. Um, so what I want to get is I want to get a gold capped great wood wand. So gold caps are just some gold nuggets with a little bit of essence. Okay, and then a great wood wand. Oh, there we go. That's the one I want. Great wood core is two great wood logs with a little bit of perdito. So we should have pretty much everything for this, if I'm not mistaken. Insufficient V. We're, we don't have any perdito. Oh, no. That is not good. Um, you there. Node. Are you perdito? You have to be a node, right? There has to be a node here, right? Yeah, there's one. There's two. Uh, is this going to, like, kill me? Or a node? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that guy. That guy is a beast. Look at that. Wow, that is a nice node, actually. I will take all of that loot. Thank you very much. Very good. And what's this guy? Oh, my. That's also a good one. Wow. Two great nodes just close by. That's pretty rare. Just saying. Uh, apparently, we have a King Slime who has maybe escaped. A scuppered. All right. So, we've got all the stuff that we need. There we go. We'll put that in there. And we'll get our Great Wood Rod. And then, uh, I wonder if these work for the cap. Or do I have to smelt them? Yeah, I gotta smelt them. That is so annoying, by the way. Why can't they just work as nuggets? Right? Am I right? Please tell me I'm right in that. Boom. Just like so. Okay, how many do we have? Gold nuggets. We have 30. Beautiful. We need 10. Thank you very much. And we will zoom upstairs. Now, like I said, many of the recipes have changed. So make sure you're double checking. <coughs> I am starting to feel worse, by the way. Uh, as it's getting later. It's not good. But, oh well, what can you do? All right, we need a little bit more fire to get this completed. Now, did those two have fire in them? I do not recall. But those are great nodes. I'm very happy that they're so close to where we are. No fire, no fire. Okay. So those do not have fire. Did I mark any waypoints? Let's see. Uh, or a node. Let's turn that on. And let's zoom on over there. And see what we got in this one. There's one like right over here. Yeah. Hello, creeper. I see you. You can't hide. You can't hide from me. Alright. What do you have? You have fire. Awesome. Okay. Get a little bit of fire. Beautiful. And let's head on back up. The towers are coming along quite nicely in my opinion. I should probably deal with that king slime. But eh, maybe later. <laughs> okay. So now we should be able to make our great wood wand. Nice. Now this one we'll keep. We'll just keep it in there for right now. And I'm going to charge up this wand. And then that way we can get a little bit more power and juice. Um, I might want to do that additional research. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, I don't think we're able to destroy these nodes. What in the heck was that? I heard a noise. I heard a noise. I do not trust these things, by the way. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. There we go. We got a little bit of essence. We'll go over to that other ore node, and I'll be back with you. Alright, so I'm bringing you back in. By the way, I'm really starting to not feel that great, so this is probably going to be the end of the video, and it's already super late. Now, one of the things that's changed, so I want to get an alchemical furnace, and we need some arcane stone blocks. But they actually require living rock now, as well as regular stone. So, that's part of the reason why I got all this living rock before we started this stream up. Um, I do need a little bit of stone as well. And then let's head on up to our crafting bench for Thomcraft. There's still more of this building that I need to do, and we need to flesh out the inside as well. 
but all in due time, I guess, right? Uh, so we're going to go like so, and then the living rock, and then any shard in the middle should give us the arcane stone bricks. So we can put those all around with a crucible and a furnace, and that's going to give us the alchemical furnace. Now, I don't think I actually had a crucible over here yet, so I made an extra one just because we'll probably need it at some point in time. But I'm going to throw our alchemical furnace over here. Now, what this guy does is it takes any item and it breaks it down uh, into its, you know, its v's or whatever okay so it kind of just breaks it down all right so for the most part it's pretty straightforward but it would take this silverwood log for example and it would give you three arbor one pretanio and one ordo okay so it's pretty straight like i said pretty straightforward okay um let's see i just want planks how do i get just planks please Please, just planks. Uh, okay, we have to put it in the... Oh, oh, we can use our sawmill for this? Nice. Instead of... I saw that. So we can... Can we do the same thing with great wood, I wonder? Now that we have this sawmill, let's give it a try. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Jacking up those productions awesome instead of just using the mana for two i think we can get six out of our sawmill that is awesome by the way so with that we can kind of get our next thing which is the arcane alembic and for that we're going to need a v filter or two but we also need a little bit of resources from our storage room so let's go grab those nice and quickly here and we'll make what do we want to make? Four of them? Four sounds about right. So that would be 20 iron. That's four buckets. And these give you two each. So that's two, four gold and four gold. So eight gold and 20 iron. And then we need the four buckets as well. So that's going to be another... 12 iron so 32 total i'm guessing and we'll just kind of come over here and we'll split these up beautiful and throw those in our metal former to make some buckets um overall things couldn't be more pleasant over here in the base uh power's good no issues there uh pretty much everything's pretty good pretty good indeed uh, let's just put some of this stuff away without double clicking of course do are we full we're full on sawdust what great source of paper by the way sawdust um, okay there's our first bucket okay I'm gonna get a few buckets here all right and we got our last bucket ready to go so over here we can start crafting up this recipe so we're gonna need a couple of these and we did run out of V in that wand I hope I have enough in this one to at least get us by if not well I'll finish them off camera yes that is true okay good so an arcane alembic times four awesome we had enough I need to find some more aura nodes hands down it's not been advantageous ow Okay, so four high is the most that you can do. Um, no item should have more than four of a requirement, okay? <coughs> now, what we can do with this, well, that's a great question. We can now break down things into elements, and then we can craft stuff with those elements. The other thing that this is going to allow us to do is get our stuff ready for our arcane infusion recipe all right because it takes a little bit of time and everything else so we're just getting all things prepared um, now for example the next item that we need let's open up our thomonomicon here and go on down into alchemy i believe is is it here no 
We still haven't gotten it, I don't think, yet. The research. Uh, but basically, oh yes, we have. The alchemical construct is the next thing that we want as well for some of our crafting needs. It definitely helps things out. And we're also going to need a whole bunch of jars. Uh, jar. Jar. These guys right here. Warded jar. Which require mana glass panes and a great wood slab. Okay. That's not too bad though at least. Because now we can get a whole bunch of slabs for practically nothing. Anyways, guys, that is going to be it. I am sorry. I am not feeling great at all. Um, I'm going to probably go pop some meds. I'll fill up my wand and do all that stuff and prep. And we will get things going. Next episode, we're probably going to jump into a little bit more of an improved armor. Um, now that we have good power generation. And I also want to dabble a little bit more into Thomcraft or Witchery even. I'd love to get the Goggles of Revealing. Um, that would be a very nice thing right here. But they do require Witchery. So we might have to jump into some Witchery. But again, I have to build the Witchery area because we haven't done that yet. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Um, again, I really appreciate all your guys' support. Episode 15 already. Hype. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.